In this video, I am going to show you how you can create a custom single post layout using the Cadence theme. So right here you can see this is the custom single post layout that I have created using the Cadence theme. For this you require the Cadence themes pro and the Cadence blocks pro. So if you are interested in learning how you can create your own custom single post layout using the Cadence themes then without further ado let's get started now. To create your own custom single post template what you want to do is to log in to the dashboard of your website and once you will log into the dashboard of your website from here you need to ensure you have this elements option enabled in your cadence theme so for that as i told you you, requ you require the cadence themes pro and here you can see i have the pro add-ons enabled from here you need to activate this hooked element option from here so once you will do that you will be able to see this option elements and here you can see i have this single post layout created already so i'm gonna hide this layout from here and right here you can see i have a sidebar created as well so if i go back to the website and if i go to the blog page that i was showing so let's let me just search for the blog so here you can see the blog page if i open the blog page here you can see the sidebar so inside the cadence theme you need to create the sidebar separately and then you need to create the component part separately and the header part separately and you also have the freedom to create the author boxes and everything else so what i am already what i already showed you is that how you can create a sidebar if you haven't watched that video i'll drop the link of that video in the description of this video go ahead and watch that video first so that you can understand how you can create this sidebar because here if i go there and if i hide this sidebar from there and if i go back and if i refresh you can see this sidebar is replaced with the theme default sidebar i already showed you how you can create your own sidebar using the cadence now let's see how you will create this this component for your single post layout so i will publish this and now if i go back and if i refresh this you can see here we have this header showing up so here in order to create this kind of component what you actually want to do is to click on this add new button and once you will click on the add new button the cadence block will get activated from here you want to choose this template option and from here you can re rename this so i will name this as blog single post header actually so once you will name this as blog single page header from here what you want to do is to insert a row layout so search for row layout right here and then you can add a row a single row a single row or the two column row so i have added a single row column so from here you can choose the content width to the theme content inner width and from here you can make it wider width so i have made it wider width right here from here what you actually want to do is to click right here where it says element settings and then you can click on this preview settings from the preview settings make sure you have the post selected here you will get different options here depending upon the themes or plugins you are using and then from here click on select preview post so click on the select preview post and then you can choose one of the posts so i'll select one post from here and then i'll click select and then you can click on the close button now we can actually start creating this so i'll open this navigator from here then i'll click here and then i want to open this block settings so i'll click on this settings right here and then from here what i actually want to do is to go to the style tab and then what i can do is to go to the advanced tab and in here first of all i want to increase the padding from the top and the bottom to the maximum that it supports you can also add your own values for the padding for that you can click here and then in here you can define your value so let's just change it back to the percentages and for the percentages let's set 15 percent at the top and 15 percent of padding at the bottom now i have added this we can apply a background color so let's just use this background color for now until we will create this component so let's first of all insert the heading that we are going to use for our blog post i'll search for this head headings we want to use this text module so i'll insert the text module right there or the text block right here and then or here you can change it to h1 because this is the heading of our blog post you can change the color of this to the light color and then from here you can go to this you can click on this write something and here you will notice this option dynamic content so click on the dynamic content and then from here click on this drop down and then click on post title because we actually want to display the post title here then click on add dynamic content and here you can see our title has been updated now you can align it any ways you want so i want to align it in the center so now that we have added the title we actually want to insert a couple of more fields here so i'll search for 
a section and i'll drop that section right below this title that we have added now i actually want to duplicate it once more so i'll insert one more section inside of this section so i'll drag and drop that section right here now if i go to the navigator i can duplicate this one more time now let's just add an icon box or the icon here so i'll insert the icon right here first of all and then after that icon what i actually want to insert a heading so i'll click anywhere on the page and then i'll click on this plus icon and then i can search for text block so i'll select the text block and i'll insert the text block right after this icon that we have you can see it is not allowing us to add so let's click anywhere here and see if it gives us an option and you can see this is not giving us an option so i'll open the navigator and then from here i'll click on this section right here and here you can see we have this plus icon you can click here to add the block so we actually want to add this text block so click on this text block right here and change it to paragraph so now it is changed to the paragraph you can click here to write something and from here you actually want to use this dynamic content so click on the dynamic content and click on this drop down arrow and from this drop down arrow i actually want to display this post date so choose the post date and then click add dynamic content and here you can see the post date is dynamically added here now you can click on this icon and it will give you the option to change the icon so click on the icon and here i actually want to display a calendar so i'll search for a calendar and this is the calendar that i want to display from here i can change the color so i'll change the color to white and i can also reduce the line width of this icon and i also want to change the color of this date that we have added so now you can see this has been updated then you can go to this section and from here you can change it to horizontal and now you can see these both are horizontal and then you can make sure these both are vertically aligned in some cases this may not be vertically aligned so you will have to do it manually and now you can see these both are vertically aligned now now what we can actually do is to duplicate the first icon and drag and drop the first icon inside the second section and you can also duplicate this title that we were using from that to there all right or you can also delete this from here and you can also delete it from here and you can totally duplicate this section. so now you can see it is looking something like this now first of all let's change this icon to the user icon so i'll click here and then i want to search for the user so i'll insert the user right here and then in here instead of post date what i actually want to do is to select this entire text and i'll change it to author so i'll drop down and i'll have to find the post author so let's just drop down here and here you can see author display name so click on author display name and click on update dynamic content and here you can see this has been updated now you can see we have a problem these both are going up on top of each other so what i want to do is to choose this parent container and from here you can choose this horizontal and now you can see both of these have the horizontal direct also what i actually want to do is to reduce the width so here is the option for the content max width click here and change it to 500 pixel or the 600 i think the 500 pixels looks fine you can also reduce the size of these icons from here so i'll change it to 30 pixels and i also want to change the icon size of this user to 30 pixels something like now let's just apply the background color to this entire row so go to the style tab here and then from here what you actually want to do is first of all remove this background color that we had then click on this dynamic tag then click on enable dynamic background so from here you want to choose featured image url and once you will choose the featured image url your featured image is actually attached here now what you can do is to click publish here and then you can refresh your page here you can see after refreshing my image is now showing at the background i can open this navigator from here and here i'll choose this row layout and then you can go to this style tab and let's just apply a background overlay so i'll click on the background overlay and here i can apply the overlay color so i'll choose this overlay color or this overlay color whichever color you want to use you can use that overlay color and then you have some option for the blending modes as well let's click on this update button so after clicking on the update button all the changes will get saved now you can click on this element settings and once you will click on element settings from here you will have to select the place so let me go there and if i refresh you can see we don't have a header here so what we actually want to do is to change it to replace above content hero 
to make it replace above content hero for the display settings make it a single post so i'll remove it and uh, you can drop down and here you will see this option single post and then in the user settings make it to all users and then click on this update button now if i go back to the website and if i refresh you can see now we have this hero image showing up something like this you can be as much creative as you want with this image and you can try different kind of layouts for all of these single all right now there are some additional settings that you want to do i already gave you a video on how you can create the sidebar so you can follow that video to create this kind of custom sidebar then for this content right here you can go to this customize option and once you will click on the customize option you will have to wait until the customizer will get loaded now you might face another pro problem where you will have double hero images for these blog items for that you want to go here for the post or page settings and then you want to go to the single post layout now from here you want to go down and in your case this option will be enabled so here you can see if i enable this option i have this hero image showing up again so i can disable this option and after disabling this option you can see now we don't have any hero image right here now you might also have the post title showing up and if the post title will show up your post title will appear something like this and if i enable this option it should appear or disappear depending upon the option so you need to hide this post title from here once you will hide this then the post title will get hidden and everything else that you are seeing will also be get hidden now of course for the sidebar you will have to choose either the left sidebar or the right sidebar option i already created a tutorial on that then you might will have this issue where this content will be touching this image so for that you will have to adjust this content vertical padding just make it enable to adjust to the content vertical padding then if you want to display the post tags you can display the post tags and if you want to display the post navigation that is actually this one you can show or hide this post navigation so if i click on this show post navigation uh, if i click here it will hide the post navigation that is showing here and if i click here it will just show the post navigation that you are seeing right here then from here you can decide the number of columns for the related post content so here i have two columns you can make it to three columns or you can make it to two columns four columns whichever you like because i am using a sidebar layout so i'll change it to two columns so that it will make two columns for this related post now here you will see this option endlessly loop related carousel just enable this option and after that you will see this option show comments if you want to show comments on your website enable this option if you want to hide the comments just disable this option that is your choice depending upon the website that you have now there is the one more thing that i want to show you so if you want to display a background color behind this content here you have this option content style you can enable this option and here you can see now we have a background color if you want to hide it you can just hide the background color just like this so this is how basically you can create your own custom single post layout in the cadence theme using the cadence pro theme and the cadence blocks pro i hope you find this video useful if you find this video useful be sure to hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon to always get the latest video updates if you have any questions drop them in the comment section and don't forget to hit the like button because that will help me to reach more people on youtube thank you very much i'll see you in the next video